can we all just give a round of applause for Grant Williams? Man, Miami Heat MVP for game two. Miami Heat MVP, thank you for the win. Thank you for poking the bear and talking smack to Jimmy Butler. They were up too. You're up by seven and you're talking smack? Guess what happened? You all know that MJ quote. It's a good man. You know he's a good man if he can talk trash while down or if it's an even game. And Jimmy Butler did just that and backed it up. Grant Williams hits a three, gets in Butler's ear. What does Butler do? Scores nine straight on them. And the Heat end up winning the game. They have a 2-0 lead. You love, you love to see that. Let's go Heat. Let's go Jimmy. Rode for his first ring. The hardest ring ever. Grant Williams, MVP, man. MVP. You know who else was the MVP? LaMelo Ball in game three of this first round series against the Bulls. Man dropped 51 points on 21-26 shooting and only had one three-pointer. That is it. When I was putting the stats in this energy 2K, I started putting in LaMelo stats because I thought that was Cedric's, but no, Cedric also could have arguably had a better game like overall, but we're going to give it to LaMelo. He dropped 51. That's historic. Uh, 38 points, 8 rebounds, 20 assists, and 6 steals for Cedric Lewis. Absolutely nuclear but LaMelo Ball definitely helped us get that win. Uh, if we go to the Bulls, Jalen Brown had a good game, 25 points. Did not shoot very efficient and fouled out of the game. So, you know what? I'm playing pretty good defense on him so far. I believe so. Uh, actually, maybe not great. And uh, besides the, the one besides the one win um, the Bulls had, I played good defense. Lonzo actually had a good game. Uh, wasn't passing the ball much, but did not have a turnover. Patrick Williams gave him huge contributions, but they didn't get much else. So, let's go put our stats in this energy 2K as we re get ready for game four. All right, here are the stats here for Cedric. We're going to click the win, and there it is, 38 points, 54% shooting, uh, four for seven from downtown. And we are ready for game four of this first round series in Chicago. Let's see if we can take a commanding three to one lead. And I forgot to mention, the Hawks are up 3-0 right now on the one-seeded Cavaliers. Are the Cavaliers about to get swept for the second year in a row in the first round, being a top seed? We're gonna find out. But first, let's see if we can take a 3-1 lead against the Bulls. The next episode, you'll be able to find out if the Hawks end up completing the sweep on the Cavaliers. All right, here we are. Chicago for game four of this Eastern Conference first round. The Bulls showed great effort in that game two victory against the Hornets, but Charlotte came right back, firing on all cylinders. A LaMelo ball, 51-point game. Gave the Hornets a 2-1 lead. Now, looking for a commanding 3-1 lead. But this Bulls team is no joke. I mean, they're as difficult. Not, definitely not as difficult. But they have given us the most trouble so far uh, since the Miami Heat. Those are the only teams that have given us issues in the playoffs. Has been this Bulls team, which I did not want to face, to be brutally honest with you. And the Miami Heat of last year who beat us in five games. So, uh, it's going to be a tight one. I could see us winning in five games, but worst comes to worst, I don't see the series going to seven. And that has been the key for LaMelo Ball. Use him in the pick and roll. Because I can't trust his jump shot. Uh, sometimes he'll hit it when he's shooting it himself. But if I have him involved in the pick and roll, the two of us, I feel like it's going to work out wonders. Especially me on the pick and fade him on the roll it, it's just gonna work it's gonna be like a will oil machine as patrick williams get the offensive rebound but gets blocked by ayton on the break marketing kicks it lewis jalen brown doesn't bite i'm gonna kick it back out capella is on lamello lamello you gotta take advantage of that you gotta take advantage of that lamello ball to the rack gives it up to ayton and he slams it down 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 he slams it down jalen brown is ice cold right now i believe he's like 0 for 5 0 for 6 so far in this game, not sure if he's hit a bucket. And uh, this guy, I still don't know how to say his name, but apparently he's going to be a very, very high-ranked um, um, prospect in, I think, next year's draft after the Wemby draft. Did not know that, but, uh, yeah, he, so far in this playoff series, has been kind of ass. He just launches threes like it's nothing as I launch that one, but it's good. Cedric Lewis knocks down his first jumper of the game. Only took one attempt before that in the Hornets. Up by four. We have 14 points in the paint compared to their zero as I'm about to get subbed out. Up by seven. Nick Richards can make it eight after converting the end one. And we are now up 
by 15 points here at the start of the second quarter. The Bulls' second unit is really what kills them. They're in these games when they had their starters in. But once that second unit comes out, it's really just barbecue chicken, all right? It's just easy pickums for the Charlotte Hornets. Kobe White, that ain't happening, bro. I don't know what you were doing, but I am all over that. Um, marketing. Marketing, kick it to LaMelo. Why are we giving it to uh, Richardson? I don't know, but I guess just let him work. Richardson in the paint gets a good shot, misses it, though. Nick Richards is there to clean it up. I love playing with Nick Richards. LaMelo Ball already has 12 points in this game. Already making his presence made after that 51-point game as Jalen Brown is starting to get hot here. Four straight buckets for him in the paint. It, that's what they got to do. If they can get past me and attack the paint, that it's it's going to work wonders for them. But if I'm doing that from range, it ain't going to work. Cedric Lewis knocks down another three second of the game. But yeah, honestly, I'm just useless in the paint. Uh, I'm too short. I'm, Cedric's only 6'4". He can't really get shots on um, blocks like that. Can't really contest shots, especially on a 6'7 Jalen Brown as I grab my third rebound there. Bars. Uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen. If LaMelo kept cutting there, that would have been great. But I'm gonna use, we're going to keep going with this LaMelo ball pick and roll. It's been working to perfection, man. Not to mention, LaMelo has yet to miss a shot right now as we're up by 23. 100%. I'm pretty sure all of those are in the paint. Valanchunas going to take the contested triple. It is off. And the Hornets can extend this already huge lead on the road as the Bulls just have no answer for the dynamic duo of LaMelo Ball and Cedric Lewis. Lewis about to have a first half double-double and LaMelo 18 points on perfect, perfect shooting so far in this game. Unbelievable. As I think he's a rookie. I'm pretty sure he's a rookie. Kicks it out. Ah, oh, Nick Richards looked like a clean block, but it is a foul. Give me that. That's a yoink. That's a yoink. Uh, apparently Benton is that guy on defense. I don't know how he was able to catch up with me there. I have w okay. Well, it's still their ball. I have 99 speed, and Benton is able to catch up with me. That's it, man. 2K, bro. It never fails, man. Never fails to screw you over. That should have been the easiest transition bucket of my life. And, of course, it's not. Because 2K has Delondo Banton as the greatest just run-down chase artist in the world. We're up by 23 anyways. That just stuff like that pisses me off. Lamel, back to me. 4-3. It's good. Cedric Lewis having a struggle of a night shooting. Knocks it down, though. He's got 21 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists. LaMelo Ball's got 20 himself. Or I think he has 18, actually. He has 18 points himself. Uh, Jalen Brown had a wide open 3 there. Josh Richardson with the block. But Brown picks it right back up and puts it right back in. The Bulls down by 22 points. Looking to rally in this third quarter. LaMelo Ball 2 8 in. That's Aiton's eighth bucket of the game. LaMelo Ball's fifth assist. LaMelo Ball and I are the only players with double-digit points on the Charlotte Hornets currently. And it's, it's working in our favor. Jalen Brown in the paint. Snatched by DeAndre Aiton on the break. Cedric spin in the lane. Tough layup to go. Hornets back up 26. All right. I think I'm getting subbed out here. I am. I... Cannot get anything to drop on the floor. It doesn't matter. We're still up 27 points. Five seconds left. I'm going right at Jalen Brown. Post fade. That's not what I wanted. And once again, another miss. But this game is more than over. Now it's just play it out and keep the lead. Because, I mean, 27. Crazier things have happened in the NBA. But I feel like 27 points in the fourth quarter as your lead. I feel like that's a pretty comfortable lead to have. Um, I want 40. I want 40. Cedric with a tough layup to cap off an unbelievable night. 25 points second half after a struggle in a tough first half. Only shooting 4 for 11. And the Hornets just come into Chicago and completely light up the Chicago Bulls on their home court. Going to take a commanding three games 
to one lead. Austin Reeves is going to have to throw one up here. He does, and it's off. Cedric Lewis grabs his eighth rebound of the game. Going straight to the basket. Kicks it to Nick Richards. All right, I, I don't know. Oh, Dory Finisman, shoot that. You're wide open. Oh, wow, he bricked the hell out of it. 20 seconds left. I kind of want another steal there, not going to lie. 20 seconds left. Lonzo Ball is going to take that three. He's, it's off. Hey, man, you're going to shoot that? I bet. I, I see you. I see you. You want to shoot that three? All right, Nick Richards, come set the screen here. Come set the screen. Let's send him home. Let's send him home. All right, I'm sending him home on free throws. And with 4.4 left, the Hornets are going to take a 39-point victory on the road to go up 3-1. On this Chicago Bulls team, Jalen Brown didn't even really play that fourth quarter. That man got locked up. Final box score, Jalen Brown only played 20 minutes in this game. Benton, if you can see him down there, played 21. He played more minutes than Jalen Brown. He only had 19 points, three turnovers, 9 for 20 for the field, 1 for 5. And he didn't even foul. They just said, nah, you ain't playing. Austin Reeves was their best player. He had 17 points off the bench on good efficiency. Lonzo... Kind of a no-show offensively, but did show up with three steals. Patrick Williams had an okay game, 10.7 rebounds, good efficiency. Kobe White, Buns, and this dude, I'm not even, a, I'm not, I'm not going to say his name. He has been dog water in the playoffs. Completely awful. And for the Ornits, another Cedric Lewis masterclass. You already know it, 43 points, 8 rebounds, 15 assists, 5 steals in the game. And if you count the 5 turnovers, I had a 5x5. Five uh, 13 for 24 from the field, 3 for 6 from downtown. Haven't been making or attempting a lot of threes so far in these playoffs. Last year, I was attempting close to like 7 to 10 threes a game. And once again, get into the free throw line. 14 of 14. I have yet to miss a free throw in this playoffs alone. Uh, Lamella Ball, another amazing game. 32 points. All in the... Uh, not all. I believe 28 or 30 of those were in the paint. Uh, four rebounds, nine assists, very similar to his 51-point uh, game. Uh, three steals and a block. Only missed three shots on the night. Two for two from the free throw line. And then Aiton doing what he needs to do. 14 points, 13 rebounds, three blocks. Big game from him. Richards with nine and nine with three blocks off the bench. Very, very huge. And then Max Struess has been solid off the bench. Oh, well, the stats don't back it up. Never mind. Uh, Larry Markkinen has been pretty not great in this series. But that is going to be for me. So leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.